adults only. Don't touch your face. Don't rub your eyes. Don't bite your fingernails. Don't wipe your nose on the back of your hand. I mean, don't do that anyway, because gross. <laughs> don't wear a face mask. Face masks are for sick people and healthcare providers. If you're sick, your face mask holds in all your coughing and sneezing and protects the people around you. And if you're a healthcare provider, your face mask is one tool in a set of tools called personal protective equipment that you're trained to use so that you can give patient care and not get sick yourself. If you're a regular healthy person wearing a face mask, it's just making your face sweaty. <laughs> Leave the face masks in stores for the doctors and the nurses and the sick people. If you think you have symptoms of COVID-19, stay home, call your doctor for advice. If you're diagnosed with COVID-19, remember it's generally very mild. And if you're a smoker, right now is the best possible time to quit smoking. I mean, if you're a smoker right now is always the best possible time to quit smoking. But if you're a smoker and you're worried about COVID-19, I guarantee that quitting is absolutely the best thing you can do to protect yourself from the worst impacts of COVID-19. COVID-19 is scary stuff at a time when pretty much all of our news feels like scary stuff. And there's a lot of bad but appealing options for dealing with it. Panic, xenophobia, agoraphobia, authoritarianism oversimplified lies that make us think that hate and fury and loneliness are the solution to outbreaks. But they're not. They just make us less prepared. There's also a boring but useful set of options that we can use in response to outbreaks. Things like improving healthcare here and everywhere, investing in health infrastructure and disease surveillance so that we know when the new diseases come, building health systems all over the world, looking at strengthening our supply chains so they're ready for emergencies, and better education so we're capable of talking about disease outbreaks and the mathematics of risk without just blind panic. We need to be guided by equity here, because in this situation, like so many, equity is actually in our own self-interest. So thank you so much for listening to me today, and can I be the first one to tell you, wash your hands when you leave the theater. <laughs>